Hey, what's up? I'm going to be showing uh, a pretty decent build you can do as Protoss uh, versus Terran. And uh, basically what I was doing was I was adapting to my Terran opponent's play. And basically this build is a counter to what would be a, a Terran fast expo. So if you were to do four racks or something like that, I would adapt in my play uh, to get a bunch of gateway units to or and a bunch of sentries to fend off whatever force you could try to send at me So basically I'm already just letting you know he's gonna go for a fast expansion and you're going to see my exact reaction to it and One little thing that I would like to note is after you build the pylon uh, For as a protoss player you want to scout immediately after that pylon normally most players scout after the gateway but against the zerg player even Terran players uh, sometimes definitely against other Protoss players you want to scout as soon as possible because in a lot of 1v1s I notice a lot of cheesy play I mean kind of seem overreacting here by bringing two SCVs he just needs one so a little lost mining time there in the early game that always matters a lot so we just see him macroing up a little bit. He hasn't opted to get his gas yet, and there is a reason why. Now, if I was smart, I would have brought that probe up inside his base, and I would have saw he would have had no gas. And then I could have assumed from there, if he's going to go six or seven racks all in with his SEVs, etc., or he's going to go for a fast expo. But uh, doing a all-in build kind of like that where you bring off all your SCVs off the line it's great if you have a barracks to view the high ground etc but I could just force field the ramp all day long I could just get a second gas and keep making sentries and I can keep cutting your army in half and letting the sentries do the work on the Marines especially since if you have no SCVs mining I could just keep cutting the army in half until it's fully dead and that's just the power of being Protoss, using force fields very effectively. And I think a lot of players, Protoss players, take that for granted. When they're Protoss, they don't get enough sentries, they just get z and Stalker and Colossus. And they're just like, I'm going to A-click and win. No, that's not how you're not supposed to play. You're supposed to get some sentries so that way you can cut the armies in half. And use the Guardian Shield to reduce that damage by 2. And that's a lot. Com when you think about every single Terran unit is ranged except that CV. So, uh, yeah, I'm just opting to get 3. I'm going to go 3 gate Robo. I could have just done a 3 gate Expand. I should have just known immediately that he was going for an Expo. By scouting around with my probe to see that he has no gas. But I'm going to send my probe up here eventually. And I think I already did. I already sent my probe up here and I saw there are marines up on the ramp. And I immediately knew that an expo is happening. Uh, there we go. Now I send the probe off the watchtower. And this probe's going to die. I'm trying to kind of make him go to the corner over here. But that was completely futile. But I, I'm just going to assume that he's going for an expo and that he's not feigning an expansion or something like that and that can happen he could just have marines over here and a bunch of barracks back here and no command center he could be massing up an army but i decided to take the risk and go for the expo and uh opt to get my double gas as well so that way i can warp in sentries when i need to because by the time he moves out i'm probably gonna have my warp gate done and three gateways is definitely more than enough off of one base Especially since I'm going to be putting down the robotics as well pretty soon. So for a little bit, his economy is going to be a, a little head. And I realize this. He probably has his command center way before me. What could I do to catch up? So I decide to take a little bit of a risk. And I decide to go for the higher tech. Get better tech than the Terran player. And I don't do that by getting upgrades. Just by getting a tier 3 unit like Colossus. And I doubt he's going to really have that much to deal with it. And in the beginning of the game, I didn't realize he was just going to go Medivax and Marine Marauder. And I was expecting him to do drops inside my base, etc. And that's why I was holding on to the watchtowers. He wasn't really scouting that effectively. He could have kept a couple of Marines on his watchtowers. There were a ton of different things he could have done better uh, to make his play a little more effective. But... He does opt to go for that sim. He's probably going to go for a timing push once that sim finishes. He's most likely going to attack me. He scans. He sees exactly what I have. 
and uh, we can just double check to make sure that he does see uh, oh wrong player view there we go he does see the robotics etc and uh, He's opting to get a bunch of barracks, so that's good on his part. He's taking advantage that his economy is going to be hitting, going to be, be really good pretty soon. Probably in around two or three minutes, his economy is going to start really, I can't really think of the word that I'm trying to think of. But I don't know why I'm trying to think of bursting with flavor. That is definitely a very weird thought, but we see him, uh getting a bunch of he's starting to opt to get marauders now and if i wanted to just go four gate on him i could have just won immediately right there that's one other build i could have done because he opted to not get any bunkers but i was assuming you know he's kind of a decent player he sees the observer etc but before that i assume you know he had marines on the ramp to deny the probe so i would assume that uh, if he saw any trace of army heading up here, he would start building bunkers immediately and pull SCVs off the line to deal with it. So, I thought it wasn't really that good of an idea. But then again, I if I did it very secretively, kind of hide my proxy pylon over here without noticing and start warping in the units over here, I most likely could have destroyed this army very, very, very easily. Just force field it, preventing it from running away, and then let the Zealots do the work. Because there's nothing more annoying than Marine Marauder kiting Zealots with Marauder slow. Because they can just kite that infinitely. The Marines doing the DPS, the Marauder slowing them down. And, uh, yeah... It's pretty good on my part that I have both watchtowers. This is a ton of scouting information that I'm getting. I instantly know when he's going to move out. And it lets me know if I could go for another expo. And yeah. Yeah, it just allows me to tech up. I knew I could have gone away with this Colossus tech. So now you know exactly what I'm planning to do. And just chrono boosting that uh, Colossus. Getting the thermal lance. Uh taking advantage of the economy that's going to be happening pretty soon. You see that I don't have that many minerals, but the economy is going to be hitting up pretty hard in around one or two minutes. So I'm just trying to anticipate uh, when the economy hits. And that's very important. A lot of players don't realize, you know, I'm spending my minerals very well. A couple minutes later, where did this thousand minerals come from? And it's because you don't have enough production facilities to spend all those minerals in gas. And we see the turn player moving out finally, and I was able to see that with the watchtower. And I, for some reason, I take out my rocks, and that was because I was going to expand over here. You probably saw on the mini map and Nexus, and I canceled that immediately because I was a little bit worried that he was just going to stim and snipe that. And I canceled that so that way I could just warp in as many units as possible. But I'm starting to float a bunch of minerals, but that just changed. So I guess I never really even needed to cancel that expo. So a problem on my part was I was floating a bunch of minerals. I didn't have enough uh, gateways to be able to deal with that. I didn't put down enough pylons because after the next warp, I would have been supply blocked. And for some reason, I decided to move out. I thought he was just waiting over here trying to contain me. But then I didn't realize he was just going to go around and try to snipe my nexus. And this is a huge deal, being able to snipe this Nexus. And for some reason, he moves in, probably trying to get the, you know, to ensure that he kills the Nexus. But right at this part, this is not very good for him. If he didn't move up, he probably would have gotten away with this army. Just moved up a little too close, and that allowed me to force field the ram, preventing him from running away. But at the same time, I'm sacrificing my expo. And I put down a Nexus immediately as a result. And then after this, I know I have to counter. Otherwise, he's going to get ahead of me. Economy, tech, uh, army-wise. So I need to counter now. I killed off this whole entire army. So I'm going to do whatever I possibly can. He, and he doesn't even opt to attack with his units. They're all right-click somewhere. So no damage caused to my army. And then I make another little mistake over here. For some reason, I let the army sit over here for a little bit. And every second at this point counts. And I need to move out with this army. And I, for some reason, put it over here. So I decide to just eventually opt to go 
with just this little army wait for this to reinforce and i realize what is this army doing it needs to move right now uh i can't afford to let them have two or three more seconds and this is quite a massive army but i think you underestimate the power of colossus and how much splash damage they can actually do and for some reason he backs up he could have stemmed down and then just killed this whole entire army so that was another mistake on my part i was very lucky that he was playing this very timidly i guess he was just afraid of reinforcements but during that meantime he could have sniped those two colossus relatively easily but he is going to get one uh with those vikings i do kill one of the vikings as a result but at the same time i killed off most of this army and i force field it preventing it trying to prevent it from running away he kills off another stalker and i do have a proxy pylon in here as a result this was just to deny his third if he ever decided to go for one when i was expanding over here and he does get the colossus which is kind of a huge deal but at the same time i do have sentries and i utilize their capabilities of force fielding the ramp and preventing him from trying to reinforce at all and at this point i have three sentries so i'm going to try to go to work with whatever i can i'm going to try to reinforce i'm floating a little too much money i need more gateways to be able to and i need to micromanage my time a little bit better i'm focusing a little too much on the micro and not reinforcing the army enough so i put the pylon at his natural so that way i can reinforce even faster and i like this on his part he lifts up the units and tries to drop them over here but he could have just stemmed down i guess he just missed time the force fields and i'm kind of kiting the SCVs back and if we look at this part he's way behind in the workers it's 50 over 21 and he cancels all the zealots which is which really hurts me a lot because then i need to rewarp them down here another few seconds lost then they need to run all the way over here and i kind of missed micro over here i wanted to kill that marauder and i lose that zealot as a result and i didn't even kill that marauder with one hp but then i just reinforced with a bunch of zealots and i was able to kill his practically his whole entire army and then at this point it became a war of attrition i had the more money the better economy the better tech uh there was nothing he could really do at this point and it was just pretty much game he pulled off all his scvs he one last attempt to be able to hold this off but even if he was able to hold this off he would still lose all these SCVs to this colossus and we just see it just stacking up a bunch of kills up to five kills now probably gonna get a six and yeah he's dropping meals trying to get whatever economy he can possibly get and he does have quite a few meals on these command centers so I would say even if he was at a hundred supply uh, to my 100 supply I would probably still win in a straight up battle because I would just cut his army in half or force field it preventing it from run running away if I had enough sea lots so basically that's how you counter uh, a Terran fast expand it's sentry colossus uh, with some sea lots uh, I only got the stalkers to counter those vikings I guess I could have used the sentries to kill off the vikings but stalkers kind of have the better range so that's that and i could have worked on spending my money a little bit better as well but i was just so focused on the micro and i knew i was practically gonna win at this point so yeah that's that uh hope you enjoyed